The media continues to slam Trump supporters. And they say they enabled him to win. They were enablers, letting him win the election. Well, that's true. Look at this headline, Shaming Women from Quartz. That is a popular online magazine, often shared on Facebook, by the way. Quote, white women voted for Trump in 2016 because they still believe white men are their saviors. First sentence in the article, here it is. White women have a history of betraying their sisters. The 2016 election was no exception. According to exit polls, 53% of white women in America voted for Donald Trump. Katie McFarlane, we held her over because <laughs> we really wanted to hear what she's got to say about this gun. I'm a white woman, and I think that is absolute baloney. Thank you very much, Katie. Okay, totally baloney. Look, I am of the generation of women where I was the only one in the room as a national security professional when most of the men in the room wouldn't even listen to a woman. I have briefed Donald Trump, and let me tell you, he respects women, he listened to me, he deferred to me, so all this stuff that, that somehow it's a betrayal of the sisterhood to support somebody like Donald Trump, I think it's just it's foolish and it's baloney. And the real betrayal of the sisterhood is a president who doesn't deliver an economic environment that allows women to succeed in. Okay. It's a president who doesn't deliver a secure national country. And you've been in the room with him. I've been in the room, and he is terrific. Time. Liz, Forget what are you going to say? Intolerant. Toe yeah. the line, anti feminist thinking. I mean, you have to, to change hearts and minds. You don't talk like this. There is no sisterhood that we all vote because of our gender. That is, that's a definition of being anti feminist. You change hearts and minds by getting people to your point of view. You make a case. You treat them like adults. You get them to understand the consequences of what you have, your beliefs right. or their beliefs. Right. And then you talk it out. I, this is why the left is failing miserably with women across the country. I'm I, I am so sick and tired of it personally because I hear it all the time, this kind of behavior. What you should be doing is discussing the issues. <clears throat> That's right. That's right. what he you're doing. Hesh it out. This is our country's future. We don't, don't, we don't with... vote in lockstep as women. Do they think we we're don't. so stupid we don't understand the issues? That's what is that they what think. This is all about? That's that is their the arrogance. Over women because That's their arrogance. arrogance. How about yeah. we're was... smart enough to figure it out for ourselves? And what's what that expression of false consciousness? Is that, that's what they're that by accusing their women of? Whatever their definition of consciousness is. Listen, we get it. Poison words are not good in this debate. I, I wish everybody would start using their inside voice, listen to people like KT, listen to people like you gentlemen, and understand we have different points of view. It's a democracy. We hash it out in the, in the marketplace of ideas. And, and that, right. That's what the women's movement was all about, that we would have choices. Right. What they're saying is you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Right. right. Think like us or you're gone. At this right. point, we have to say good morning to Kate. <laughs> uh, she's on her way a couple of hundred yards up the road, yeah. I do believe. You know stuff that you can't tell us at this point, but we'll have you back when you can tell us. Sounds real good to me. Kate, thanks very <laughs> Thank much for joining you. us. Good luck.